What's up everyone, it's DV and I'm back in Roblox Islands. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the new antler items, including the antler hammer. I'm gonna be showing you the pet, which I don't have yet, but I can show you someone else's. Also be showing you the shield, on exception of one item here, which is called the antler dagger, which I don't think anyone has gotten yet. At least I've not seen anyone say they've gotten it. I haven't seen any tweets about it. And typically speaking, within a couple hours of an item being released into the game, usually someone has it. So I'm kind of skeptical that it even exists in the game yet, or it's just one of the most rare items we've ever seen in the game, but it is really, really hard to find. Like I said, like some of the most rare items in the game have usually been found within a couple hours, but this item I don't think exists. I really don't think it exists. I'm also going to be showing you how to get this thing here, the Fanhorn pancakes and how to make them. So last night I mentioned the devs and apparently the blueprint was bugged. So a lot of players were not able to make these. So I'm able to make them now. I'm going to show you how to make them shortly here. And if you're new to this update, check out the link in the description below for the update video. I show you everything about it, but if you're completely lost, I will show you a quick tutorial on how to do all these things. But before I do, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. So this is the latest update in Islands. This is Maple Isle. So if you come through here in the hub, you're going to see um, Bailey here. She's the main quest giver. So you got to do her quest. And once you complete her quest, she's going to send you through this locked gate, which is going to have a couple more quest givers for you. And the next thing you just basically need to um, talk to Emma. By the way, if you complete Bailey's tutorial and this gate is uh, locked, just talk to Bailey again. So anytime you connect to the game, sometimes this gets blocked again. So just make sure you talk to her again. And then right here is Emma. So she's going to have you make a bunch of pancakes. She's also going to make you mostly focus on berries. So this is where you start learning about raspberries and such. You have to scare some turkeys, get some raspberries. And then once you're completed with her quest, you're going to have to talk to Don. He's going to give you a crazy quest where you're going to have to make 50 berry pancakes. It's just a lot of work. And then once you complete those, he'll give you access to be able to beat the boss. So as you can see, I have Fanhorn pancakes now. It does require a blueprint, but you get that immediately after you complete all the quests. So like I said, just complete all the quests and you'll get this unlocked. But you do also need level 75 for cooking. So if you don't have level 75, you're not going to be able to make these pancakes. And on top of that, you're going to need some materials. I'm going to show you the materials. So the effect of this pancake, by the way, does say eat for might of Fanhorn, granting small chance of finding antler weapons in combat. My assumption is you can only get these weapons from Fanhorn himself, but I don't know if anyone's gotten Fanhorn items outside of beating him. Like, can you get these items when, you know, fighting other mobs, for example, based on this wording? It seems like you can get antler weapons throughout the world, but who knows? Who knows? So again, you do need level 75. And once you have level 75, you can scroll down and you're going to see Fanhorn pancakes right here. And it requires one berry pancake and three of these flowers, which I had like, man, I only have nine now. I had like 133 earlier today and I've made so many of them. Check this out. This is how many I have now. So I have 82 of these now. I made so many of them. And when you eat them, it basically gives an effect. The other thing I thought I should mention, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but cook starfruit cake does have a really cool effect. I'm going to show you real quick. That's just a little side bonus here. If you eat these, it gives you a 25% damage buff to mobs. And that's really helpful when you're trying to um, fight Fanhorn because you're getting 25% more damage on your weapons. So I'm going to quickly go through all these heavy weapons because this new antler weapon here does fall in this category. I'm not really sure what the dagger falls into, like if it's going to be a light melee weapon. But as you can see here inside my um, skills, I have heavy melee level 62. So that's going to affect my core damage for heavy melee. So you can see level 62 means I'm going to have 12.4 more damage on my um, on these types of weapons. So I'm going to go show you these right now from weakest weapon all the way to the most powerful. I already ordered them. I already went through them all. But you can see this weapon does 36 to 46 damage, which is quite a bit. 36 to 46 damage is pretty good. So now we have the Kong Axe here, and this is a limited item. This was only available during as a reward during the Godzilla and Kong events. So you can't really get it anymore, but we're going to go and show it anyway because you can still trade for it. So this this one is doing 37 to 47 damage, which is really good. Just a little bit more powerful than the Iron War Axe. Now we have the Pumpkin Hammer here, which is a limited item as well. This is no longer available. This just went away. So you can still technically get it through buying cauldrons. So if you want to get this, you can either buy or trade for it. Or if you have some cauldrons that you haven't opened yet, you could still potentially get it by opening cauldrons. But the cauldrons themselves are limited, so you can't get this anymore. One thing I will say is these are kind of weak. So this is 41 to 53. These weapons are kind of weak compared to these other weapons here. So if you're really looking for just like limiteds and collectibles, these are good for collecting. Beyond that, they're okay weapons. They're not like super powerful or anything like that. So this one's doing 41 to 53 damage. Pretty good. Not great. So now this is the Obsidian Greatsword. This one is still obtainable by um, going through the quests inside Pirate Island. And it doesn't do crits that often. 46 to 61, it looks like. Yeah, it's 46 to 61 for this guy. So 61 would be the crit. Base damage is about 46. And now we have the beloved Gilded Steel Hammer. This is one of the old 
cool heavy weapons in the game. The original hammer. So let's go and try out this original hammer here. So this one's doing 47, 62. Just a little bit more damage than the great sword here, the obsidian great sword. I think this one's a lot easier to get than this one though. So if you're just looking for something that's comparable, I would just go for the obsidian great sword because it's just a little bit easier. Actually, it's a lot easier to get because you don't have to get buffalo core crystals and gold. And next up is the diamond war hammer. You get this from the diamond mines by crafting it. And you, you know, this one is a little tricky because you do have to have a certain level of heavy weapons. And if you don't have it, then you won't be able to make this. So this one is doing pretty good damage. Look at that. 56 to 76. It's pretty high damage. 56 to 76. So next up we have this guy, which is our antler hammer, which is doing 59 to 81. So it's just a bit more than the diamond hammer. And granted, I, I do have a boost right now. Remember, I have 25% damage to mobs. So if you think about it, I'm doing a lot more damage right now. So 59 to 81. Now I'm going to show you the final one, which is the dragon slayer. This is also a heavy weapon. So this one is doing 72 to 100 damage. That is crazy. 72 to 100 damage. Remember, I have the boost going from the star fruit cake. Additionally, I also have this level of my heavy melee. So level 62 is pretty good. It's not great. So if you have higher heavy weapons level, you're going to do a lot more damage, especially if you eat star fruit cake. So the question is whether or not this hammer is worth it. Um, I think the dragon slayer, I would, I would recommend going after the dragon slayer instead if you could. So go grind it or buy it. This is probably the best weapon in the game currently that is non-magical. So like the best melee weapon in both categories, even better than the rapier, I think. The captain's rapier, I've used a lot and what I find is when I use the captain's rapier I don't get a lot of loot sometimes I sometimes don't even get loot period because there's something about its damage is not high enough so when you have a large group on a public server that's battling chances are you might not get loot however if you use the captain's rapier solo then yeah you're definitely gonna get more loot so I would probably use captain's rapier if I was solo but if you're in a group battle you need to you know really get that damage output and the best way to do that is with this weapon plus it's a lot less hits so if you think about it you know I know you can get more with the captain's rapier but if you can save time killing faster then why wouldn't you kill faster instead of taking twice the amount of time so that is my consensus on this i would say antler hammer really cool great if you're the type of person that has to have one of everything like i do like i like to collect in the game so i like to have everything in the game but if you're really just kind of like db i don't have a lot of you know time i don't really want to grind for this maybe wait for the dagger once we see what the dagger is about otherwise i would definitely get the dragon slayer i wouldn't even bother with the captain's raper i think you could just eat dragon rolls instead to get that luck so let's take these out. I'm gonna now show you the shields. So with this update came the introduction of shields. A lot of people have been you know, wondering if we'd ever get armor and we got shields. So check this out. So they don't do a whole lot of damage. This one you can buy straight up, I think from either Emily or Bailey. I think you can buy it from Bailey. So you can see how much damage I'm doing. I'm doing 30, 34. So yeah, it's 30 to 34 with this thing, which is pretty good. It's not, it's not heavy, but the nice thing what you'll see is you take a lot less damage. See, I'm taking six right now. So without this, I'm gonna show you what I take without it. So if I take damage, without the shield enabled, I'm taking 10. Now, if I equip it, I take six, which is pretty nice. And it's especially good when you're um, battling um, bosses because you'll take a lot less damage from the bosses. So that is the maple one. This is just a standard maple you can buy from the merchant. You can you can buy as many as you want. This one right here is the antler shield. And shout out to my friend Neon Legend who is letting me borrow this. I did not earn this. I didn't buy it or trade for it. Special thanks to them for letting me borrow this. So check this out. This is the antler one. This is from a drop. So this is a rare item. And so you can see the damage is 34, 34 to 44 so that's a pretty good baseline and let's see how much damage did we take so it looks like we're taking four that's a lot less damage than this look at this this is six and if we switch to antler it's four so we're not taking that much damage if you think about it like he just walked away he's like no nah, i'm done i can't damage this guy so it does a lot more damage pretty nice so if you're looking for like a safety this would be really good against the boss because it's mitigating like it looks like it's just mitigating about 60 percent of the damage that you would typically take which is crazy so we'll definitely try this out on the boss and we'll just kind of stand there and see what kind of damage we take from it so that is the shield setup like i said i'll do a separate video on the daggers but now let's show you the pet so i'm going to show you the boss pet real quick so this right here is Juz pet they already had it i don't know how much they grinded for it i asked how much they grinded like how many hours and they didn't really give an answer for that but this is what the pet looks like he looks so cool look at him he looks like a minute he's totally a miniature version of the boss i think besides the pumpkin pet this was probably one of my favorite looking pets but the mini fan horn is really cool i want to get this pet um it's going to be a while i grinded the boss for so long that all i got were flowers over and over and over so I don't really know the trick other than luck. I've used dragon rolls. I've used captain's raper. I've tried everything and no luck yet, but we're going to continue grinding him. 
Again, public is the best bet for getting more and more spawns. So we're gonna head out to public right now and see what we can get. So let's eat our chili so we can run faster and let's eat our pancakes. There we go. So you can see I've got the fan horn pancake and we're gonna fight them. You can also eat dragon rolls. I'd highly recommend dragon rolls to get that extra luck. At a minimum, you'll get more flowers, you know? Dragon, there we go. So you can see he, I'm taking a lot of damage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to the shield, give myself a chance to heal a bit. See, I'm almost fully healed up. So we're gonna switch back to my weapon. Now you might be wondering if you should use Ruby Staff. I would not recommend Ruby Staff. Ruby Staff is super laggy. You're gonna slow the server. It's gonna be harder. He can end up lag killing you because you'll take damage and not know you're taking damage. The other thing is Ruby Staff is so lag that you're not guaranteed any hits and it doesn't really heal you as fast as you hope it would. I've died many times using Ruby Staff, especially in public servers because he's so much harder in public. There we go. So we got some flowers, not bad. I mean, we'll take him. All right, we took some damage, so we're gonna heal up. Again, you're taking like 60% less damage, I think, whenever he hits you with the shield. And we crashed again. We seem to crash a lot in the server. I don't know why, but the server's been crashing a lot today. I think this is like crash number 10. And then we gotta wait for migration. No! The other thing you'll notice is you lose the fan horn pancake effect when you crash. It's kind of unfortunate. So be careful. <laughs> the nice thing about Publix is you can get a lot more spawns. The downside is lots of crashes. Splain Hook did say they were looking into optimization soon. So I don't know when they plan on doing that, but hopefully they can figure out why the server's crashing. Let's waste our final dragon roll on this thing. If the server crashes again, I'm gonna rage quit. Technically, I can't rage quit if the server crashes though. I'll find a way to rage quit. I'll find a way though. I will find a way to rage quit. I'll load the game and then quit it after it crashes. Come on, Fanhorn. By the way, you can actually ride Fanhorn. I don't know if you knew this, but you can ride him. You can go on his shoulders. Let's see. Let's, if you'd get off the tree, geez. See right here? If you go on his shoulders, you can ride him. <laughs> he gets mad. Don't get mad. Come here, horsey. All right, we got flowers. More flowers, just what we needed. Wow, he tried to launch me off the map. Did you see that? More flowers. Hey, I leveled up on melee though. That's a plus. All right, we got it, we got it, we got it. Took it out with a hammer this time. So I'm gonna leave you with one last bonus here. I showed this during my live stream, but I'm gonna show you again real quick. So if you come down here and make a left turn at the maple leaf, come down here, you're gonna find a little secret area. I do have shadows off, so it might be a little easier for you to see. But if we come in here through this tunnel, it's kind of dark, but it's not so dark if you have shadows off. Check this out, a little treasure chest thing. So they hid a treasure chest in here. I wonder what's in it. Is there anything in it? No. There's just sand in there. No. Oh, wait. What's this? What is this? I found a tiny castle. Look at that. That's cool. No, you got it. You can't do this. Look at that sword. What is that? No, 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 no. You can't do that. You can't do that to us. Hold up. Hold up. What is this sword that they're hiding out there? You can't do that. Wait. Where was that? Where is that sword? Oh, it's right here. So it's near the bridge. So if we go over to the bridge, it's just to the right of the bridge. Check this Easter egg out. Dude, look at that sword. So I'm going to have to leave you here with this one. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next vid. Hopefully we'll get some information on this thing if it's ever going to become a thing. That's a really cool looking sword. Give us, give us now.